Stop, I'm chilling. And no, it's not a person. Named after Lake Chad, the Republic of Chad is a landlocked country in the dead heart of Africa. About half of it is in the Sahara region of the north and the tropical savanna is in the south. There are about 16 million Chadians with 55% being Muslim, 41% identifying as Christians with other religions sharing the 4% that remains. It is also a country that's not easily accessible, not just to the world but to Africa as well. In fact, most people can say they have never met anyone from Chad before. But that's not to take away from the country's rich culture, cultural people and diverse minerals. Recently a law came to pass in the northern town of Mangamni. Anyone who refuses a marriage proposal will now pay a fine. So if you do not want to spend the rest of your life with someone who ends up proposing to you, you can politely reject the person and in the same movement go ahead and pay $39 as a woman or $15 as a man. In a country where it's normal for a man to have more than one wife, where young women would have been married before the age of 18 and face abuse that is condemned by the government, the council is proposing more abuse to human rights by implementing fines less than parking tickets to people who do not want to marry someone they do not like. Did the council even consider how people could abuse the system? Where does the money go and why do men pay less when it's men that propose more? There are more pressing matters for the country to work on, like implementing a system of finding more physicians, improve the amount of people below the poverty line, or even making the most of their countries that invest in them. Instead, there are fines being forced for forced marriages. To denounce the decision which is illegal as it violates a national law guaranteeing freedom of consent to marriage, the Chadian Women's Rights League has launched the hashtag Stop Amchilini. Stop Amchilini. Knowing the problem is the first stage to fixing the problem. So share the hashtag and let us stop Amchilini.